Welcome back, folks, to Sturge Tropia. This is Sturge, hanging out on a Strider. Sort of my wishful thinking. One day I'll complete the mission to get the blueprint for these cool Striders. But right now, we'll just uh, we'll just pretend in, without some clothes on, with my skivvies and my and my shades. But I, you know, uh, I want to talk about one of the cool cosmetic missions that you can do here. It's free and it's daily here on Next Island, and that's the chefs. Uh, scouting for resources, Chef Jamie. You're gonna do the mission for her. Where all you're gonna do is run around, pick up fruits, rocks, and dung. I feel like we visited this before recently, haven't we? The fruits, rocks, and dung thing. So for for a free to play uh, avatar, this is a great mission. And you start here at Paradise Landing on Next Island. So when you first enter Next Island, this is the place you're gonna be. And all you need to do. To get started and for those new players for the players who've seen all this before you can skip ahead to the crafty crafty part i'll put a link down in the description for you for the new players just come right over here to the welcome to next island sign and take the televator down to the beach once you get to the bottom of the televator you'll see the sign pointing the way to crystal beach all you got to do is turn and head down the road toward the buildings off in the horizon that's where we're going for new players this is the place you're going to want to focus on you're first entering next island all the good free stuff is here all the beginning missions are here including chef jamie's mission up here on the top of the uh, mess hall imagine that jamie the chef right on top of the mess hall you're going to come here and talk to jamie and she's going to give you scouting for resources mission regardless of your avatar status new or seasoned veteran you definitely want to pick up this mission you can see i've already got it started actually this is probably the 10th time i've uh, picked up this mission. Uh, I've sold some of the blueprints in, uh, in the past, but mostly what I want to focus on now is actually crafting the items that Jamie is wearing here. The chef's hat and the um, apron. She's not carrying a frying pan. I feel kind of like maybe she should have a frying pan in her hand. That would be pretty cool. But uh, And then the stockings and the high heels. Well, that's a totally different video, and one day we may get there. But pick up this mission and Make sure you do it daily and whenever you finish it, that way you can get all of these items for free. You get, get, get to keep all the resources as well. Before I get too crazy with all the fun and excitement you can do with uh, the chef's mission here, uh, I would come to, if you're a new player, come to Crystal Bay first and foremost. And you're going to run over here toward the, um, actually it's just the, uh, the turret that next island turret it looks like a little floating ship or gun or something like that and you don't want to speak to helen venture and because you're going to if you wish to craft these items so you if you wish to craft the the frying pan specifically you're going to have to come and talk to helen venture and from here you're just going to do helen venture's uh hunting mission and she's going to give you a blueprint and once you've completed it she gives you a snarky reply just like that course then all you gotta do is get out there and find some fruits some rocks and some dung search the ground and maybe with any luck you get a cheeky double find just like that or you might even be as so lucky to get the double double find Once you've collected all your resources, it's time to return to Jamie and choose a reward. So now, the, you get to Jamie and you get to decide what it is you want. Some There are five blueprints total. And what's interesting, I think, about these blueprints is whether they are customizable or not. And you think about that. Do you want the, just the plain white ones, which are the two un uncustomizable versions? And then you have the frying pan, which, of course, is just a frying pan. And then you have the customizable version of the hat and the apron. And I'm not going to go over the value of said blueprints. They're five clicks a piece. Right now they have high value. They had a much higher value when I recorded this months ago. 
but suffice to say that those things will still have retain quite a bit of value you'll just need to check with the auction house and see which ones are more valuable if that if you choose to sell the blueprints if you choose to make the items you're probably going to want to go with the customizable versions of the blueprints because those will actually allow people to change the item as they wish so colorize it and texturize it and i haven't done much on that yet uh, i don't have enough paint on next island to do it but i plan to get into it uh very soon so this particular instance i chose the apron but let's get into the crafting before i actually craft any of these items i do want to uh start here at the crystal peak teleporter and come down to the beach and show you some shops that are of well actually they saved me today uh, these particular shops here. Uh, this one here is by Hun Honorus. What? I, I, I'm not quite sure. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. It is Drakil's shop uh, coming soon, but Drakil looks like he's got a bunch of stuff there. And then Danny Go. Thanks so much. Danny Go really solved this. I want to show you all of the uh, Danny. Danny Go uh, has all of these resources, tons of crystals, and so does Hun. And this really saved me today because I, despite having more than a hundred ped in mixed crystals from hunting here on Next Island, I still didn't have enough uh, chlorite uh, crystal, which is the one that I really needed. And look at this. Uh, yeah, I needed this. So I had to buy the chlorite here from Danny Go. Thank you so much, Danny Go. And I also needed to buy... Um, I believe it's the Oakenite crystal from uh, Hun on the other sh in the other shop uh, as I first came in, and then I also had to come back and buy Danny Go's supply of selenite crystal. It's way more than I needed, but at this particular point, I I just have to get these videos done. So it's costing me a lot of ped because I just don't have the time to hunt with work and then trying to make videos and try to play a little bit and relax and those kinds of things. So. Thank you so much, Danny Go uh, and Hun, for having these wonderful shops full of resources right here at the Crystal Peak Teleporter on the beach. So after my first two Standard Entropy Universe failures, I actually was able to create a chef's hat on the third click of that five-click blueprint. 6.83 PED, I'll take it. Also after my initial failure, my first click, on the chef's apron, I was actually able to get a success on the second one. 4.21 PED apron. Last up was the frying pan, which I assume the Helen Ventures walking stick is for the handle. Makes good sense, right? And then, of course, you'll note that you have to use crystalline cores on this one as well. Uh, I think that's... Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what that's for. Maybe it's the Teflon part, the non-sticking part. But I managed to get through that, no problem, and got a frying pan out of it. As I'm taking a moment to wrap this up here, let's talk about the blueprints themselves. You can see they're all limited blueprints, but they create unlimited items. So that means that they are actually stackable, which is pretty cool. And they're all level 1. So you can see tailoring skill for the chef's hat and the apron. Uh, it doesn't matter. I have 13.7 tailoring, which I picked up from the Next Island Lesser Li Daily Lesser Elysia Challenge. Keep that in mind, huh? That's a good one to do. And tool engineering is zero as well, and I have enough tool engineering skill because I don't have zero. So I have a little bit better success rate, uh, and then I'm just going to slowly, um, you know, gain uh, over time. But that's what's really cool about these. They have inherent base value. They're stackable. You could do it daily, and you get to keep everything, and it's all free. You don't even have to craft these things. The last part of this I do want to talk about is you definitely need to have done the Crystalline Core mission first, which I have detailed in another video, and you need to have done Helen Venture's walking stick which are, and her mission as well. There are a few other things you'll need to do, but like I said, the Lesser Lycia Daily Challenge will get your skill up if you're looking to craft these. If you're not looking to craft them, that's okay. They're stackable. They have good markup. You're just going to want to check the auction house on next time. And you might as well check every auction house since you can do it from anywhere on any planet and see what the values for these things are maybe these sell a little bit better on uh, next island because the resources are here but maybe you know on calypso they sell even uh, you know much higher value because they're more rare and certainly 
the markup on the, these blueprints is going to change as more and more people watch this video and come and craft these particular items and do that mission, the free-to-play mission. Remember, that's a free-to-play mission, so you don't, you get to keep it all, all the fruits, rocks, and dung, and the blueprints, no requirement. But I like the cosmetic part. I think that about wraps it up for this uh, session of Sturge spends all his ped crafting cosmetic items just to make videos. Even though I do look pretty handsome here in the chef's hat, uh, the chef's apron, and my frying pan, and my skivvies. Not even wearing sandals. That's how much I love this. Anyway, standing high atop here, the building uh, where I crafted these items. Look at that majesty. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, and the sunset. It's just amazing. So, a lot of fun. Cost me a little over 100 ped to uh, put this video together, but I think it's worth it. And, uh, and you know, there are female uh, uh, versions of these as well, so come on over to Next Island and make yourself a chef's outfit. This is Sturge, signing off. Ciao.